I'm calling this Do You See What I See? And I'll be honest, it's kind of hard to verbalize what I'm experiencing, but I'm sure there's plenty of you that are experiencing it too. And I'll start with levels of awareness. There are a lot of people out there that are aware that something's wrong, that something's really messed up in this country. But the reason their awareness is limited is they are still seeking some sort of physical, political, government solution. Um, somehow it's going to be fixed by men, okay? And then the higher level of awareness is where I think we're, we're at. This is not a judgment, please, it's not. It's just reality. We are blessed to see that nothing, nothing can be fixed without God. Nothing. And that's why judgment is here and judgment is going to increase. Because we know that there is no political solution. There is no man-made solution. That's a laugh. And the more they keep seeking it, the more they're going to be frustrated. And now, <clears throat> the globalists, the ones in charge who are creating all of this wickedness around us, they, of course, believe they have the solution. And their master has the solution. Well, we know better. But I don't want to go into that too much because I, I, I have been literally harassed this whole afternoon with sickness, feeling nauseous and not well because of the spiritual attacks. And I know it's because every time, even if, even if it's in a small way, we expose some of their scheming, some of their machinations, they don't like it and they come back at us. So, you know, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. You know what their agenda is. You know what the globalists want. And you know that the people that see something wrong are clueless, really, as to the source. Because the source is spiritual. And that's bottom line what this is about. Everything is spiritual now. I mean, everything. There is nothing that's not spiritual. If you have, let me give you an example. If you have someone in your family coming at you for whatever reason, and they're they're agitating you, upsetting you, that's spiritual. The devil's using that person. If you your car broke down, or a, a friend of mine she hit a uh, this was a while back she hit something in the road and she had her car was car had to be was. It wasn't total, but it, she had to get a brand new car because of what happened. I tried to tell her, I said, that's spiritual because she's a, she's a good Christian woman. You know? And they don't, she didn't quite get it. You know, I think she gets it better now. But everything coming at you now has a spiritual source. You can even get um, some harassing letter in the mail or you can get harassing phone calls. Like I told you about the 666 number. Phone calls, I got like three or four in a day. It goes on and on and on. But this is why we have to be alert and aware that everything that is happening to us now has a primary cause, and that's a spiritual cause and a physical result. Absolutely. My nausea today, okay, it, it could have even been affected by some of these solar flares that, that are, are happening a lot because I do get affected by those. But believe me, the evil ones take take advantage of it and play on it. Because you're not able to do the Lord's work. So, don't look at it, at anything now, with carnal eyes. Because it, it won't work now. Because that's how deep we are into this war. And that's what it is. A holy war for souls. And it's, it's we're so far into it that we're... I hope, I hope that we'll see the end of it. I hope we, we will. I hope I'll, I'll be around to see the end of it. That's how deep we are into this conflict. And most people are totally unaware because they've chosen to be unaware. Those that truly are seeking the truth, 
daily and asking to be shown the truth as I ask to be shown the truth, as you ask to be shown the truth, we'll be shown the truth. It's that simple. But bottom line is, um, if you have a sudden ache or pain, if you have a sudden headache, if you're not sleeping at night, if you're having nightmares, a lot of nightmares, if you're having a sudden bout of nausea, if you're, um, let me think of it, uh, like I said, if you're being tormented, if your dog bites you, <laughs> I know that's a loud one, your car breaks down, whatever, think the spiritual mind and see the spiritual eyes and hear with spiritual ears. The things that people say to you, you get a nasty phone call, that's the demons at work using these people. It helps just to know it because you can gauge everything better and you can be strengthened by knowing that you can talk to Jesus about it and he's going to be there to comfort you and console you. But it's just the reality we're living in now and it's pretty black and white.